Hey everybody, welcome to The Foreign Fork. Today we are turning up the party on this channel and we're gonna be making a drink recipe instead of a normal food recipe. So we're making Bahama Mamas from the Bahamas and if you keep watching, I'm gonna walk you through all of the ingredients that you're gonna need and how you're gonna go about assembling this drink. Hey, welcome to The Foreign Fork, where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. My name's Alexandria, and today we're hanging out in the Bahamas. We'll get ready for some warm sunshine and a fruity drink in your hand. We're gonna be making Bahama Mamas. So, to get started, you're gonna need a martini shaker, and then a couple different bottles here. So, um, I'm gonna do this in parts, not measurements. And um, I would like to let it be known I am not a bartender, so I'm just gonna kind of measure as close as I can with this shot glass. <laughs> but we're gonna start with um, some dark rum, and you're gonna do one part dark rum. So my parts right now are shot glasses. And one part coconut rum. Next, we're moving on with one half part orange liqueur. You can decide how many servings this makes. It tastes delicious. I'll leave it up to you if this is all one person's drink or if you mix this into two people. <laughs> and then another half part of grenadine for some color. And that grenadine plus our other juices is gonna kinda uh, put some mixers in there, which is good. We need that after a couple shots. Um, I have 100% pineapple juice in a can and do one part of this, so a full shot glass in this case. And lastly, some orange juice. If you think it's gonna be a little strong, you can put a little bit more orange juice in there too. And then all we need to do is shake it up. First, I'm gonna put some ice in here so that when I shake it up, it kinda cools down a little bit and then I'm gonna pour it into the glass. I just wanna make sure everyone sees my super cute um, penguin shaker glass. I got this from actually from the Savoir Awards when I was in Cincinnati for the Savoir Awards. Um, this was one of my take home gifts and I love it. And for some garnishments on top, I have some maraschino cherries. You can put it on the rim, you can uh, put them right into the drink. And I'll add a little bit of this ice too to make sure it stays cold. Let the party begin. <laughs> put me on a beach, people. If I close my eyes, I'm there. The good yet really dangerous thing about this recipe is that I don't normally, I'm not really a big drinker mostly because I don't really like the taste of alcohol, but I drink this every single day, which is awesome because it's delicious, but it's a little bit dangerous, um, but it's so good and, and the different alcohol and mixers that are in here makes it seem like you are not even drinking any alcohol. It's just really delicious and tasty. So if you want to make this recipe, I would highly encourage you to do so whether you are in the middle of winter and you feel like you need some tropical sunshine in your life, or if it's in the middle of summer and you're trying to cool down, you can find the recipe in the description below. I'll have the link to the written instructions. And then don't forget to check out all of the other recipes that are on my site. I have awesome recipes from all countries around the world, and I can't wait to see what you make and hear what you think of this. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I will see you next week.